Hi, I'm Gene from True to Earth TV and Spectral Energy Solutions. And I want to talk to you about something that can be making you very sick, and that's your water heater. This is unfortunately not very well known, and the word has to get out about this. What's happening is your water heater is a perfect breeding ground for certain types of bacteria. And it's variable, and there isn't really any way that anyone knows to, to run a quick test to see. But there is a cure, and it's very simple. It's just to run your water heater at 140 degrees. And the first thing you're going to say is, I can't do that because I'm going to get burned and so is my family. And you're right. You have to install a tempering valve. Now for some reason, 120 degrees is a really good temperature to grow bacteria. And 140 degrees kills it. What they found is certain people were getting very sick. And a lot of times you'll never know that you got sick from your water heater because your doctor may just see it as a uh, respiratory infection. You can pick it up in the shower from the steam mist if you inhale it. You know, the bacteria will, will travel right through the pipes and come out. Uh, you can also get it if you happen to, to drink hot water, supposedly. There's a couple things that can grow in here that are pretty bad. One is Legionnaire's disease, which everybody's heard of. The other is um, this um, NTM, which is non-tuberculous mycobacterial infections. And these could be pretty nasty from what I've read. They can, um, they can get inside your respiratory system and it's supposedly almost impossible to get it out. You can, you can subside it with, with uh, you know, treatment and, and antibiotics, but that's all they can do. And if you're compromised, um, if you have a weak immune system, this could be deadly. They don't have any hard numbers now because this isn't being looked at properly. But they suspect there's a possibility that between five to 12,000 people are dying from this a year. So like I said, the cure is very simple. You have to run the water heater 140 degrees. In order to do that and not be scalded, you have to have a tempering valve. Now, what I have here is a Taco 5000 series tempering valve or some people call them a mixing valve. And I'll look at this closer real quick and I'll show you how to install it properly. And so either you or your contractor, you can make sure that it's an installed properly. There's, there's one way to do this and make to make sure it's right. Now this valve, the Takeo 5000, is a really nice valve because it's got high flow rate. This will flow about 20 gallons a minute. So it won't be a restriction, so you could still take multiple showers, you can do the dishes at the same time. And it's also got an auto shut off feature in it to prevent scalding. Or if, the, if something happens to the hot or cold water, the valve can sense it and it'll shut off. It's not an anti-scald valve, but it's a nice additional feature to have. Okay, we're going to take a quick look at this Takeo 5000 series valve. One quick note is that you can't, nobody can play with this and change the setting on it once it's dialed in. You simply pop the cap, and the cap has a, uh, a notch in it that fits in the valve head, and you set that to 120 degrees at the sinks, and then when you're done, you pop this cap back on, and no one can change the setting forever. The way these valves work is cold water comes in through one side. This is teed off at the cold water inlet at the bottom. The hot water comes in from the tank at the other side at 140 degrees and it mixes the two together out to your sinks at 120 degrees. Now the key thing here, and this should be done on all hot water installations, is there's a thermal trap. Now what a thermal trap is, it's a drop from the hot water outlet down before you go to the sinks. What this does is it, it traps the hot water in the water heater when you're not running the faucets and that increases efficiency. If the pipe just came out and went straight up the hot water would constantly chase the cold pipes and you would constantly be losing heat out of the water heater. 
This this traps that, and the the, hot, the heat can't come out of the water heater when it's off. And what that also does is it, is it lengthens the life of the valve. Because this has a thermostatic element in there. And if you have this tied in right out of the hot outlet, it's going to constantly be, you know, 24-7. It's going to be trying to open because it's hot. You want to give this valve a break. You only want it to run when you're actually running the hot water. So that, that does two things for you. And what you want to do is make sure your contractor puts this trap in. And what you need is at least 8 inches. A lot of, a lot of people call for 12, 8 to 12. If it's more, it doesn't matter. But you really need at least 8 inches to get that thermal siphon to stop. So that's it. That's all you have to do to make sure your water heater is not going to grow bacteria. Set it to 140 degrees. Install a tempering valve properly. Make sure it's set to 120 degrees. I like to install a permanent temperature gauge in the line going out to the sinks so that I can always check and make sure that it is set to 120. Now there's also a chance you might not believe everything I'm telling you, so if you put in your search engine on your computer the case for very hot water, that will bring you to an article in Science News a couple years ago that talks all about this and raises some, some pretty serious questions. This should be mandated. This should be the only way this is done everywhere for commercial and residential buildings. And feel free to show this video to anyone who doesn't believe you. Share this with your friends and your co-workers and make sure that this is the way it's done. For True to Earth TV and Spectral Energy Solutions, I'm Gene. Have a great day.